We're gonna show you how to use pricking irons for cutting holes in leather for hand stitching. What you see here are the line of Cinebrox pricking irons. These are some of the more premium irons in the market. They are solid brass handles, stainless steel tip with stainless steel, highly polished teeth. The polishing on the teeth is one of the most important things because when you're pricking holes in leather, when you go to pull it out, you want it to be as clean and smooth as possible. If you're sitting there and you're wrangling it around, it's gonna open up the hole, it's not gonna look pretty. So, you've got a single tooth all the way up to 12 teeth. The other thing to look for is the distance between each tip. What you see here is a three millimeter distance tip. They go up to 4.5 millimeter with a few sizes in between. So, I've got here a pad. This is the distance. So like I was saying, you got a three millimeter all the way up to 4.5. So depending on your aesthetic, and it dictates which prong distance you want. We also have the round dent tool. Creates a nice little round dent. We've got the flat iron. The flat iron is basically straight across. It's not diagonal like the standard pricking iron. And then we've got the inverse. So the inverse is just opposite of the standard with the diagonal going a different direction. There's also replacement jigs. So these replacement jigs come for the distance of the tooth. So this is a five, uh, sorry, a three millimeter tooth distance. This is a three millimeter jig with a couple additional heads. So these are great because you can remove the teeth if you break one and replace it. So, got a nice little piece of about two and a half ounce leather here, bridle. Heavy mallet's nice. So this is the five tooth. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna, we're gonna place, I'm gonna start us off next to the edge. This is our vinyl pricking pad, so it saves the teeth. You don't want to go on a hard surface. You want something soft so it doesn't damage the teeth. So as you can see, it comes right out. That was honestly a little bit too much pressure. Even one hit would go through with these irons. Little trick. When you move on to the next hole, you're going to put the last tooth in the most, or in the, uh, the top hole. That way, one punch to the next is keeping the same distance of holes. That's all you need and it comes right out. So, as you can see there, we're working our way around. What's nice is when you're going down a long distance, you can use, say, the 12 tooth tool, but when you come close to the edge, you downsize to a two. So you can work your way nicely around the edge. And then you've got the single tooth, which is nice if you've got to punch a specific hole or a specific area where a one tooth is a benefit, that's why we have the single tooth. And that's how you use pricking irons to punch holes in leather.